welcome back to another Artifact Corner. Today we will be looking at an unassuming piece that hangs in our kitchen, right next to our stove. A scale. This is a Freire's Improved Circular Spring Balance Scale, and it was used to weigh anything up to 30 pounds and was accurate to the ounce. When making large quantities of food, sometimes recipes called for pounds of ingredients, and therefore, you need a scale. So this would have been a very useful item to have in the kitchen. Let's learn a bit more about the history of scales. The oldest scales archaeologists have found come from the Indus River Valley near present-day Pakistan and date to around 2000 BCE. These scales were different from our spring-based scale. This was a balance scale. The original form of a balance scale consisted of a beam with a fulcrum at its center. To determine the mass of the object, a combination of reference masses were hung on one end of the beam while the object of unknown mass was hung on the other end. The primary materials that were used as weights were stone and metal. Carved stones bearing marks denoting mass and the Egyptian hieroglyphic symbol for gold have been discovered from around 1878 BC. This suggests that Egyptian merchants had been using an established system of mass measurement to catalog gold shipments or gold mine yields. In China, the earliest weighing balance excavated was from a tomb dating back to the 3rd or 4th century BCE in Shangsheng, Hunan. The balance was made of wood and used bronze masses. Balance scales continued to be the predominant way to measure weight until 1770. British balance maker Richard Salter invented the spring scale, which meant weighing balance no longer relied on counterweights. The spring scale used the effects of gravity to calculate weight, as defined in Hooke's Law, which determines the displacement of force on the spring. Spring scales came into wide usage in the United Kingdom after 1840 when R.W. Winfield developed the candlestick scale for weighing letters and packages required after the introduction of the uniform penny post. The scientific plausibility of spring scales led to them becoming the most commonly used form of commercial and domestic scale, and they are still commonplace today due to their low cost. Having a scale in the kitchen for food preparation was so vital, and no Victorian kitchen would be complete without it. Our scale is in good condition and still works very well to this day. This is a beautiful piece, and we are so lucky to have it in our collections. Thanks so much for stopping by.